Hey everyone, it's Dan. Welcome back to Guitar Talk. Let's get it straight out of the way. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, roll that intro. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are looking at the Epiphone Wilshire, Wilshire. Um, yeah, the reissue Wilshire. Checking out the specs on the body of this, it's a lightweight mahogany body with the tone plate on the back. You've got Epiphone Pro P90 pickups, two volumes and two tones, your input jack, freeway switch, and a big old thick scratch plate. Checking out the neck on this, we've got a laurel fretboard, 22 frets. It's a 24.7 inch scale. You've got a mahogany neck, which on this is actually a flame mahogany neck. I don't think they've done that on purpose, so um, don't expect a flame mahogany neck when you buy one, if you buy one. Um, the new style Epiphone headstock with the bikini style Epiphone logo, and it's got Epiphone's deluxe tuners on there as well. So this guitar is designed um, at a certain price point to sit between the more expensive Crestwood that Epiphone do and the cheaper Cornette. In terms of how it feels, it's very lightweight, very resonant, and you've got the bare bones here of just a nice workhorse little guitar. So these are very, very affordable guitars. They're not overly expensive. They're sub 500 pounds. For that price point in terms of build quality, the frets on this has been done really well, better than some more expensive guitars that I've played. The tuning stability is really good. Um, and I'd say it's really, really lightweight. There's, you know, you can fling this thing around. I think that this is the makings of a great workhorse instrument. So the reason I keep saying that this is the makings of a good workhorse guitar is, I'll be honest with you, it's probably the worst sounding guitar I have ever played um, in terms of when you plug it in. I mean, the, the grade of mahogany looks to be good. Um, you know, the, the grain that you can see on the back, it looks like they've used good wood, but I don't know what, what it is with these pickups, but it says something when you've been playing the guitar for five minutes and then you've got to take the back plate off just to make sure it's wired up properly. Um, the electronics on this really leave something to be desired. It's got pots that I would expect from a cheap guitar in the 90s where 10, the volume is all the way up, and if you even roll it off slightly, then there's a massive massive drop in volume. And to me, it just sounds like the tone is rolled all the way off. And as I say, I, I took the back plate off and checked to see if it's wired up properly and it looks like it is. So yeah, these pickups are just naff.
So going over the QC of the guitar, you know, as I said, the frets have been done really well. They're nice and smooth. The Laurel fretboard, which is like a modern day replacement for Rosewood that has less issues with importing and exporting, feels really nice. It looks really good and it looks like they've used a good quality bit of wood there. Um, in terms of finish, there's, there's nothing I can really fault on this. It's been done really, really well. In terms of how this thing sounds unplugged, it is so lightweight and resonant, it's unreal. I mean, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear this, but I'll hold it up to my little mic that I've got on and see if you guys can hear it. Uh, if you can't, then this is gonna look pretty stupid. I mean, that's still going, that is still sustaining now and I can still feel it resonating under my hand. So that to me has just got all the hallmarks of an absolute tone machine that's gonna, if you put some better pickups in than whatever this rubbish is, um, it's, it's got all the hallmarks of being an awesome guitar. Sound-wise, plugged in, you know, to me, as I said, it sounds like all the tones rolled off. Um, it's got a horrible nasal sound, and not like P90 nasal sound. And guys, I know that obviously it's built to a price point, and, you know, we're pretty spoiled here with all the guitars that we get in, but, you know, we do cheap guitars as well, and this is just, this is just not it. Like, it sounds like someone has put a sock over a six inch speaker, stuffed it full of cotton wool, and then just thrown it in a cave somewhere. It's so nasal and horrible. And you know, as I said, bold statement, but this is probably the worst guitar that I've ever played plugged in. If this were my guitar and I was keeping it, I would love to rip these horrible things out and just put some nicer pickups in, you know, like some bare knuckle Nantucket 90s or a Seymour Duncan P90 or it, just any other P90, um, just to see how it sounds when you put some decent pickups in there. Would I own one of these or would I gig one of these? Not with these pickups in, I wouldn't. Um, I would probably be quite depressed if someone handed me one of these stock to play on stage and said, there you go, that's what you get. Um, you know, as I said, different pickups in there. I'd love to see what it sounds like, but as a stock guitar, I no. Just no. Looks wise, you know, I'm a big fan of how this looks. Always reminds me a little bit of a Gibson SG where you've got the horns that come down to the bottom of the fretboard. This was originally available from 1950 up to 1970. And I saw UK band Reef, um, their guitarist Jesse Wood, he plays some of these and his, his one sound really, really good. Um, not like this. So yeah, looks wise, I'm a big fan of these. So 
there you go. Don't say I'm never honest with you guys. As I've said before, I always want to be honest. And if a guitar is bad, I will tell you it's bad. I do not want to be one of those YouTubers who gets their hands on guitars and just says everything's great just because they want endorsements and free stuff. Um, that being said, let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I being too harsh on how this sounds? I'm not EQing anything. It's just going through a diesel VH4, uh, really versatile amp. And yeah, I'm not EQing anything to make it sound worse or better than it is. So yeah, let me know what you think. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. And as I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below. It really helps. Bye.